This is a white-footed mouse in Lyme, Connecticut. This is the bacterial disease inside the mouse in Lyme, Connecticut. These are the deer ticks, sucking the blood of the mouse that has the bacterial disease in Lyme, Connecticut. This is the tick that's full of the blood, that's full of disease, that came from the mouse in Connecticut. The deer tick swells to 20 times its original weight before dislodging itself from the mouse. This is the deer tick one year later. It's full of the bacterial disease that came from the mouse and now it's looking for another host, a white-tailed deer. This is the deer tick climbing the plant that's near the deer and also near humans. If humans get bitten by this tick and contract its disease, they could get arthritis and even cardiac problems. The deer tick is an arachnid, a member of the spider and scorpion family. And while it doesn't have eyes, it does have these tiny sensors at the tips of its limbs that can sense the heat and carbon dioxide given off by a potential victim. Yikes! Some antibiotics are in order. This is the man that just got the disease that came from the tick that sucked the blood of the mouse that had the disease that lived in the town that shares its name with the disease Lyme disease. Lyme, Connecticut.